In this video, we're going to discuss particle movement and whether how to tell whether the particle is moving left or right. In this example, the position function is t cubed minus 3t squared. Over what intervals is the particle moving left or right? So we kind of have a series of steps here. We need to do the derivative. We need to set the derivative equal to 0. We need to solve. We need to do a sign test. And then most importantly for AP, we need to justify our answer using proper notation and or vocabulary. So let's take a look at what this means. So first step is to do the derivative. So let's do s prime of t, which is the same as the velocity function, which is 3t squared minus 6t. Second step is to set that equal to 0. Third step would be to solve that. So let's factor this thing. Pull out a 3t. Inside we get a t minus 2. So either 3t is 0 or t minus 2 is 0. So t is 0 or t is 2. Now we need to do what's called a sign test. So we create a little number line, and we put our 0 and our 2. Now it's very important to know with particle movement that time cannot be negative. Uh, Pete, Pete particle, cannot live in the past can only live in the present or the future, so ignore all negative time for now. So in our sign test, we do not have to test any time values to the left of 0, so we can ignore that interval. So let's pick a number in between 0 and 2, perhaps 1. If we were to plug a 1, into our factored velocity function. And the factored velocity function is usually the easiest place to plug in. Now, we don't care so much about the value as we care about the sign. So as we plug in a 1 for 3t, we get a positive number. When we plug in a 1 for t minus 2, we get a negative number. A positive times a negative gives us a negative in that interval. The negative means that the particle is moving to the left. So particle is moving left from 0 to 2. Now let's pick a number to the right of 2. It doesn't matter which one we use, but I usually use the smallest one, which is 3. And again, let's plug in. So when we plug in to 3t squared, or 3t, we get uh, a positive. T minus 2, we get a positive. A positive times a positive is a positive. That means over this interval, the particle is moving to the right. So moving to the right over the interval from 2 to infinity. Now, really important here that we justify this answer in a PA sign test is not good enough to justify your answer. So let's add a statement to that. Particle is moving less because velocity is less than 0. Particle is moving right because velocity is positive. Negative, positive. Notice those are the signs, but we need to make the statements in order for AP to believe us. Let's do one more example. Given s of t is equal to that function, again, moving left, moving right. So let's do the derivative of position, which is velocity, which is in this function t squared minus 6t plus 8. Second step, equal to 0. Let's factor that bad boy as t minus 2, t minus 4. Solving, we get t is 2, t is 4. Make a number line and do a sign test. Now we want to start at 0. Uh, include our 2 and our 4. Now 2 and 4, those are time values where the particle has stopped. So we do want to kind of keep in mind that that's what that means. When velocity is equal to 0, the particle has stopped. So now let's see what's happening over the interval from 0 to 2. If we pick a 1 and we plug in, we get a negative value times a negative value is a positive value. So P particle is moving to the right. Uh, 
expect something between 2 and 4. Let's try 3. Plug in, we get a positive times a negative is a negative, so the particle is moving to the left. Pick something to the right of 4, let's say 5. If we plug in a 5, we get a positive times a positive is a positive. means the particle is moving to the right. So if we make a little map of that, just to try and imagine Pete, he started at time 0, moved to the right, stopped. That's where he probably saw a cute girl, and he made an idiot of himself, and he got whapped upside the head, and he bolted to the left, this time he stopped at time four, saw another cute girl, again made an idiot of himself, got slapped, and ran off into the sunset to the right, never to be heard of again. Poor Pete. Not really. Learned some social skills, will you? So let's see. So Pete traveled to the left over the interval two to four because velocity was negative. Pete moved to the right from 0 to 2 and from 4 to infinity because velocity was positive.